When the buses come to town, they rob everyone. They lie, they lie and tell us we're to blame when our money's gone. But the greed of the market was the only law the capital understood. When it came to robbing the working class, they were mighty good. From out of the struggle, a master's came. Red book in his hand, a man, a kind of a man with fire in his heart for the socialist plan. Cause third class war was the only law that ever he understood. When it came to beating the boss's ass, huh, he was mighty good. There you go. How are we, comrades? Oh, a new review. Ah, uh, educational, but looks like shit. Oh, Terry, for Christ's sake. It's the Marxism that matters. Sorry, Ted, mate, but on the job it's just not readable. The Union Journal looks better. What about the trade unions? Wouldn't they pay to have it printed? Oh, with the union leadership, you'd have more chance getting Packer or Murdoch to fund the review. And does anybody know anyone that can get money out of those bastards? G'day, Rich. David Franklin here. You can call me Dave. I heard you talking about the review. I picked up one up at the un union office. Fabulous, mate. Inspirational. You've read it? Uh, not as such, but I know quality when I see it. Now, I know I'm a simple bloke. Talking to really clever people, but I want to help you get your message out. And how would you do that, David? I'll print it for nothing. The ads will pay for it. It'll look beautiful. You supply the, the, the content and I'll supply the ads. You won't be bothered by a thing. Advertising. I don't know. Hang on a minute. What I mean, David, is do you know anything about the movement that we're from? Do you even know who Trotsky is? No, mate. Who's he play for? So, what you're saying is you don't care. Oh well, that could work. You do realise we're trying to rid Australia of all the capitalists? What's your attitude on that? They're all cunts, mate. <laughs> Can't argue there. Hey listen, the trade union mags, they have adverts in them. Yeah, but those magazines don't call the workers to take over the businesses that are advertising. Yeah, and how are you going to sell adverts in a tiny communist magazine to some company executive? I'll talk bullshit! Beauty! No censorship by you? Or anybody else? No, mate. I won't be reading it. Hey, listen. Are you guys part of the labour movement? Yeah. A small part. By the time I finish talking to the clients, you'll be fucking huge. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We'll think about it. What's the problem this time? I'm trying to be dead here. Is it betraying our cause to deal with people like Franklin and his advertising? A published Labour review could be a real game changer. Militants would be happy to hand it around. In a class society, the dominant ideology of the age is the ideology of the ruling class. That's not helping, Carl. Your magazine stands for everything opposed to that dominant ideology. I know, but there's never been a revolutionary magazine that's been supported by the people it tries to destroy. Uh, I see. You're nervous because it can't last if they actually read the magazine. Remember, the capitalists will sell us the hope with which we will hang them. What does that mean? Work it out! Will you have contact with the owners of capital? No. Will you be entirely independent and free to, to, to fight for socialism? Yes. Well, <laughs> what's the problem? Class struggle is an art. Be flexible on 
exploit the situation. But be warned, the forces of reaction will react. You know why you're here? You've been briefed? I'm the secretary of the Trades Hall, but I'm supposed to tolerate Trotskyites in the basement. The Labour College and their rag are a pain in the arse. Well, to hell with that! They've gone too far, attacking the Accord. What do you mean, Mr Stone? I thought you'd been briefed. Yeah, we have been told. So what is it about the Accord they don't like? Look, the Accord's there because the Labor government was able to do a great deal with the bosses and the unions, which helps everyone. The Accord allows us to sit down on equal terms with the bosses. So what does the Labor College oppose it? Because to those commos, any agreement with the bosses sells out the workers. They want class war, for Christ's sake! I just want them out, all right? So, uh, what do you want us to do? Nobody knows you, right? So, you should have no trouble joining the Labour College. I want you to find out about the magazine. How do they get big business to pay for adverts and you attend some of their classes? I'm sure more than theory is being discussed. I think we can work with the police on this. Do we uh, report directly to you? To me alone. Hello? Is that the Victorian Labour College? Yes, it is. You put out the Labour Review, don't you? Mm, yes, we do. I am the Managing Director of the Steelmore Corporation. And I am appalled to see our company advertised in your rag. Who authorised this? We don't deal with the advertising, although there is an upcoming class on how to smash capitalism. There aren't many places left. Certainly not. I was disgusted that the Trades Hall Council should endorse such rubbish. Uh, we're nothing to do with the Trades Hall Council. Well, that's not what your salesman told us. Uh, I'm sorry, but we're only responsible for content. Oh, you mean that disgusting commo rubbish? Who are you anyway? Are you Australians? This is the Labour College. We stand for the independent education of workers. Oh, is that what you call it? You mean respectable business people are tricked into supporting the views of Labourites and Communists? I know, it's shocking, shocking. But the world should be free of parasites like you and your business chums. How dare you! I'll report you to the police. Good luck, fat pig. I had three phone calls this morning about this. Well, you've got to expect a few, love. I mean, it's not good enough. The advertisers are complaining that they haven't authorised the ads. Well, you know, mate, the business, left hand of the business doesn't know what to Make matters to... worse, you're making it easier for our enemies. The Trades Hall officials are complaining that you've said the Labour Review is backed by Trades Hall. And the ACTU, for Christ's sake. I mean, they don't want the association, and we sure as hell don't. It makes us look dodgy. You're going to have to do something about right, it. Right, mate, look, I'll fix it up. You guys have been, have been good to me. The review's got me a lot of business. And I know, I know some of these young blokes, they get carried away. I say to them, tell the truth, like the politicians do, eh? Why don't we have a, a, a written declaration at the front of the view? The Trades Hall Council has got nothing to do with the magazine. Yeah, well, it's true, possibly. Look, you guys are special, and I want to keep you happy. What say we, we double the size of the review and have 50 pages of content? And a colour cover. Great!
and all the ads in the middle, and an editorial fee. Sure, sure. Uh, it's all a small donation, but uh, why are the ads in the middle? Because it looks better. We're hardly going to go through and remove them all, are we? <laughs> Do I care? They're yours. What have you got to report to me? What did you learn from Ted Tripp? I learned how to pack, post and deliver the bloody Labour Review is what I learned. He had me working my bloody ass off. He must have talked to you. Oh, he wouldn't stop. The importance of dialectics, economics, what happens in Russia, how Stalin is shit, on and on and on. I just wanted to bloody scream. I think he could tell I wasn't interested. I mean, I don't know. And where is Shane? <laughs> Well, he went to all the classes, read stuff. Now he reckons he's a bloody Marxist. He told Trip we were plants there weeks ago, but Trip just kept me working on there. I can't tell you anything that you don't already know. Shit. Edward Tripp. Yeah. You're under arrest. What's huh? Cupping, Sergeant. Come quietly. You know what's good for you. You can't do this. What has he done? You're charged with being an accessory to fraud. Committed by David Arthur Franklin. Have you got charges against him? Yeah. Yes, darling. All 325 of them. You're nothing but a thug for the ruling class. Oh, shut the fuck up, you convict. Otherwise, I'll arrest you as well. Oh, I'm you might as well come clean. We've got Franklin on fraud, and we think you're in it onto your neck. I don't know what you're talking about. So you claim you know nothing about the other magazines? <laughs> other magazines? No, I don't. I only edit the Labour Review. And you didn't know that he used your magazine to sell adverts for 25 completely fraudulent magazines, where the advertisers were the only ones who ever received a copy. He brought a business of over $1.5 million. Read the list, Sergeant. Oh, yes, sir. <clears throat> no. Keeping yourself young, uh, field game and duck. Uh, keeping yourself young. Speed it up a bit, Sergeant. Uh, yes, sir. Modern business ethics. Loving yourself old, plumbing depths. And over 20 others, including police beat, for Christ's sake. And you had no idea, I suppose, that this was going on. Do you seriously expect us to believe that? You can believe what you like. You are nothing on us. We gain nothing from this. We know that. We've checked your bank balance. You're pathetic. How could you do it? So, you just turned a blind eye? You had no suspicions? He was publishing something called Modern Business Ethics with bits of old review and other free crap in it. Don't think so. Yeah? Yeah, really what you're referring to is uh, Mark's naked cash value. Uh, speaking of naked cash value, what are you doing here? Oh, God, I caught you, Ted. Hey, listen, Ted, uh, you're a good bloke, and you know, I've done the right thing by you, brother. You really must love it. You must absolutely love it. And you want to help out a bachelor. Listen, mate, I'm facing a few criminal charges. You. 325 fraud charges? Oh, they're all bullshit, mate. They reckon I haven't uh, delivered those magazines. Yeah, you know, they make them legit than that. I tell you, you haven't. Well, anyway, I'm in a bit of a fix. Listen, what's the hell right you a check for oh, a thousand no, bucks? No. And, no, and no, you I say can't. you deliver them? I've been interviewed already. Hey, hey, what about uh, you, son? Uh, uh, hey, chance uh, to fill those dreams? Uh, take the missus for a holiday? Hey? Uh, 
Think of what you can do with a, a thousand bucks, eh? Yeah, I guess no. I guess they don't know me, so I'll do it, but for two grand. Oh, he's a bloody hard man, isn't he? He's a hard man, but you've got to say you delivered him. Uh, yeah. Terry, it's a risk. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I'll deliver him. Where do you want me to? Look, as long as you say you deliver him, mate, you can throw him in the hip. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'll leave that to your conscience, eh? All right, hey. all right, I guess I've got no choice, but uh, start writing a check. Be a good bloke and make it out to cash. Can we'll I? do, mate, yeah. we'll do. <coughs> We're a fucking team, mate. We're a fucking team together. I warned you, the capitalist, for you, the, the powers of the state, if you threaten one part of the profits. The law in bourgeois society is to protect the capitalist property relation from the grasp of the workers, but also from predators like Franklin. Yeah, well, then the law failed. Franklin bribed a dozen unemployed to say they distributed the magazine, and the police have backed off. But I'll get him sooner or later. You must put the independence of the review above all else. The, the, the city council is trying to eject us from Trades Hall. You threaten their alliance with business or the accord with the labour rights. The review is one of the few voices representing the independent interests of the workers. Yeah, but it seems too good to last, and the bosses have got to wake up eventually. It will end. But until then, keep going! Okay, where is he? Who? You know, bloody Franklin. The prick's bolted. He's still at it. He's been getting away with this shit for 20 years now. Now he's taking money from believers and the sick for miracle cures. And the Buddhas. So, where is he? You must know. Search the premises, Sergeant. He's cleared off. Phone, email, DDOs is some. Labour review. What is it about these Buddhas? He's uh, advertising Buddhas for erection problems, but we don't think the case will stand up. No one will come forward. No one there, sir? Of course not. Let's go. Oh, didn't check the dummy. Doesn't matter. We'll flush them out anyway, eh, sir? For Christ's sake. Come on, you stupid bastard. No more labour reviews. You made number 50. You've done well. You have confronted the reformists of the ALP and the Stalinists of the Communist Party when they have formed pacts with the enemies of the workers. Now, we need a party to seize power. Perhaps not yet, but do not despair. The wheels of the class struggle will turn again. The wheels of the class struggle will turn again. 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 G'day mate, David Franklin here, here in this discreet location. Now, look, the cops have been going around talking a lot of bullshit about me, but I'm like a modern Robin Hood. Not so much uh, taken from the rich and given to the poor as taken from the rich and given it to me. But anyway, I reckon I told lies, sold a dodgy product, and I'd do anything or anybody for a buck. Oh, for God's sake, that's standard business practice. It's what made Australia great. I should get a knighthood. 
you know, the only difference between me and those other rich pricks is that I got caught. Well, you know, quite nearly. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, listen, can I interest you in a magic Buddha? From out of the struggle, a master's came, a red book in his hand, a man. The kind of a man with fire in his heart for the socialist plan. Cause third class war was the only law that ever he understood. When it came to beating the boss's ass, ha, he was mighty good. Many a fool will bend their knee and kiss the bourgeoisie. But the ones who have Marxist values, they've got working class values. They are the bravest of them all.